Hi everyone, welcome to the Nicholas Workshop um, and today is an update on the MCO Star so I've made a bit more progress on that um, as you can see um, it's off the uh, off the workbench uh, sorry, workmate and uh, I've bought a uh, you can see the blue bench there um, and um, yeah, we'll show you that and also um, I've got a couple of other well, one other thing, so I managed to get the, the grinding attachment for, for the MCO star. So that screws onto the spindle. Sorry, we'll take that over in a minute and have a look. And then we've got the, uh, the guard and the rest, which has got the rest. So, um, uh, and I'm, I'm super pleased now with these two items because what this is sort of, uh, I've, I've checked through the, uh, through the guide, um, and looking at all the various uh, accessories, I, I think I've got them all but one. I mean, I can't be 100% certain, but I, I believe I have. So, you know, I know it's a bit crazy in as much as uh, I don't even know how to use a woodworking machine, but but it's nice to have the complete set. And, and uh, once I've had my uh, hip done, um, we can uh, start to try and learn how to use some of these things. And... Um, and it's a big sort of big step forward uh, this, this uh, bench um, or the stand is really good okay so let's, uh, let's let me walk you over there and have a, uh, show you around the stand oh actually maybe we're we'll look at these parts first uh, let's take them over oh, I'm still limping because I've not had my hip done so um, these are just one of the uh, the videos in readiness so as we know that's the main uh, the motor and the spindle and uh, different accessories so this is the uh, the spindle that uh, you can use when you're doing the wood turning uh, so the um, uh, the grinding wheel just screws on there a bit hard to do with one hand but anyway and then let's put that safely And then we've got the guard that goes on and clips underneath, just as uh, as the as the other accessories. So that will give me, and then we've got the adjustable stand. So that works out pretty good. So I'm I'm really pleased to to have that because um, uh, I'd like I quite like to be able to have this because it's a slightly bigger grinding wheel than my other ones. Um, and the other the other thing that I would like to do. Um, is now I've got this the actual um, setup to mount the, mount the, uh, the grinding wheel I think I can um, manufacture some more of those so then I can have different grade wheels on onto the uh, all, all set up ready to rock and roll um, I mean basically it's just a thread through uh, that's uh, that hole there is for a Tommy bar um, and then you've got the thread uh, you've got a flat on there so you've got the spanner just to tighten it up so um, yeah so that's super good so I'm really um, really pleased to have found that um, I was quite lucky as a chap I've bought a few spares from here in the UK and he's always very uh, decent and he um, will, will do a deal so on to the, uh, the bench now this is, uh, I bought this one and I was lucky enough to, eBay were doing um, some sort of discount code, so I got 15% uh, off it. And now I've, I've elected to put it onto uh, our wheels, um, and they, they've got the old, uh, uh, let's see if I can get you there, you, you know, just normal ones so you can lock it. And then take the lock off. Um, it is... By comparison, uh, the, the quality of this one compared to these cheap and cheerful ones, which is pretty impossible to keep these just move all the time. You can't you can't get them them stable. So I'm finding um, that this is is super good. So the only um, uh, problem I have is I think the whole thing is actually um, too high yeah 
Um, so from, yeah, it just it is, you know, I, I'm not a tall person and so I think it's, um, it really is. Now, down on the bottom, uh, I don't know if I can put my finger in there, down here, what we've got is you have the ability to adjust the height, but actually I've got it as low as you can go and it, I think it's still too high. So what I sort of had a bit of a light bulb moment um, and I went down um, stairs to all the, the joinery machines. Let's just have a look. Sort of uh, some of these, the, the saws and the different, the, you know, just looking at the height of these things and I measured them up and I can't, you know, this would be on the floor if I, if I got some of it down, down that low. But I have looked at this and what, what I think I can do, see if I can get down there with my hip. Um, so we've got these two bolts here, which hold the, this top frame where it's held onto. But we've got, uh, let's have a look, where are they? These are the square holes here. So effectively, this distance here, I could put this bar down here and then I'll gain about four inches or drop, I can drop it four inches. Now, just by saw, sawing the tops off and then refitting the, the wooden base to, to here. Now I still have the ability to <coughs> move it up again. It should, should I decide it doesn't work because I've got quite a, quite a large amount of movement here. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Now the other good thing about this, um, what we've got is we've got holes drilled all along here and then all along here. So what I'm going to do is effectively box with, with some plywood, we just fit um, side panels in here, the three sides, and maybe the joiner guys can uh, make me some doors and then this will then Oh, I don't know if I can get up. <laughs> this will suddenly become a place to store all the accessory, ex <coughs> excuse me, accessories that I've got. So it is sort of working out quite well. Um, and the other thing is it, obviously with the wheels, I can, I don't know why I'm moving it because everyone knows what goes on when you've got something on wheels. But it does allow me to get around the, uh, the machine if I need to. So I think... Yeah, you know, I'm very pleased with the solution so far, um, but it just needs a bit more tweaking to get there. And I was, um, I keep thinking, I know I'm Captain Slow on this project, but I was watching one of Dean from Air Cave's um, workshop the other day, his video on his new MK, oh, not Air, Enco lathe. And he, he actually made the valid point, he's the one who's going to work on it and it, you know, it, it's far better to just spend a bit more time and get it spot on for, for your needs. So I think um, I'm going to persevere and just try and get it, get it spot on. I mean, I've got all this, this is all secured now back down on here and it is tremendously um, stable, I think. Uh, and when you put the, the latches down, I've done it on all four um, and, and it still retains a pretty uh, uh, amount of stability and I think once it's um, boxed in and we've got the accessories in there that extra weight would also um, help. Now what I've done I've also positioned these bars so they stick out a bit and I did talk about this in a previous video but what it does allow me to do is to fit this onto here which is the tilting one as we know and so then i can also have it tilting on on this on this belt so that's pretty good um one of the let me see if i can pull this down it's it yeah. so when you've got it in that orientation what you it is super high you know it's nearly as high as my shoulders and so that's really the purpose of dropping this to get it get it um, uh, somewhat more usable because I think at the moment um, it's a bit of a it's not perfect the um, 
and I've also left the, the bars quite long here so it actually works out I can put the rests in and, and such like so uh, it's sort of um, uh, I'm sort of relatively pleased with the pro progress and and obviously the uh, the grinding thing was uh, a pretty good now the other thing I have been toying with um, is I've got quite a bit of spare hanging at the back here of the um, of the top now the more I think about it maybe if you guys you know anyone who's got experience of using one of these machines I can't really see any value in me keeping that and I'm thinking of just cutting cutting that off so it's flush with with here um, however uh, I am in the same situation here but well no this overhangs slightly but what it does, uh, what I think I will keep this because if I do put the uh, the VFD to be able to control the speed, because um, basically there's only two speeds on this machine, and I'd like to be able to slow it down, as I, uh, I've mentioned before, to be able to put a different uh, fit of diamond um, uh, wheel on here, so then you could do carbide and really slow it down. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so I thought like um, I could put the VFD uh, under, fit it under there in some sort of uh, box or, or something because it was interesting. I watched a video by Carl Wilson and he was mentioning how really the VFD should be there, but not actually the, you you know using it to control. Uh, well, you are using it to control the speed but you have uh, another sort of potentiometer to uh, to manage it so I would like to go something down that road but I'm not um, I'm not super certain what the hell I'm talking about as far as um, uh, uh, electronics um, so the other thing just and it's just sprung to mind just to explain why that hangs over and it, I haven't placed it right over on the bench here is if we look here this is the center line of the machine so we've got the sort of gravity and that's where the board is there and that sent that is in center of the of the step and so in the center of the, the legs of the stand so to create the maximum stability so when this this comes up what that does then it still keeps our center of gravity oh yeah i suppose it's the center of gravity over the in the same place so we're not so although it looks a bit weird sticking out that way i think because of the bulk of the bulk of the uh, the weight because you've got to remember the motors on the other side of that still remains in the center so i think it, it's um logic logically to me it made sense anyway so um yeah, so next action really is, it's, it's, I find it extremely challenging because I know I've got to go and have my hip operation, but it's actually, I mean, I've been clear to have the surgery, but I, I'm just waiting for the date. So it's very hard to get stuck into doing anything. I, I really don't want to leave stuff half done. So I'll probably, this is probably as far as I'll take it until after I've had my hip done. But it's a, it's a big step forward actually for me. So I'm, I'm quite pleased. So uh, yeah, hopefully the next time I bring you back on this project, we will, um, I will have dropped the base. Uh, we'll have the, the cupboard part built down here. Um, and then we will, um, I've done some checking. I've got all the belts and, uh, and such like to be able to, uh, to, to get it going. So we're pretty close on this. So I'm, I'm quite, quite pleased. Okay, well, um, as always, um, many thanks for watching. Stay happy, strong and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.